Hi Pisces, this is your bonus reading for March 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for March 2022. In love, Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for March 2022 in love universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of pisces for march 2022 in love show me happy birthday pisces happy birthday you guys subscribe like comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so pisces Pisces, this is a mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mention it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you, Pisces. This is you. This is your partner, So, Pisces, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For March 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Pisces, is the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation going on here. So Pisces, listen, you guys could have had this tip for tat tug of war, toe to toe going on. There very well may have been some mind games and manipulation or someone here is pissed and they have an axe to grind here. Clarify the Five of Swords for Pisces and their partner. Clarify the Five of Swords for Pisces and their partner. Clarify the Five of Swords for Pisces and their partner. It is clarified with the Four of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home, but this is the marriage ceremony card. So Pisces, listen, you guys may have had this foundation of stability, but you guys have this back and forth, tip for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on here, or there's some type of mind games and manipulation. Someone may want to go into a commitment or may not want to. You know, someone could have an ex to grind here, and this can be dealing with property or you guys' stability. Pisces, you have the world. You have the four of cups. You have the eight of pentacles. Your partner has the Three of Cups. Your partner has you, the Queen of Cups. And your partner has the Three of Wands. So, Pisces, the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is, listen, you know, you guys may already have this stability and there's some type of mind games and manipulation or some type of tip for tat tug of war, toe to toe going on. You know, it could be some type of tip for tat tug of war, toe to toe going on over property here, okay? Someone may be feeling spiteful and vengeful, maybe trying to manipulate someone into commitment or just, I don't know, we'll find out. Pisces, you have the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Pisces, listen. You know, you can tell me there's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world. 
for Pisces. Clarify the world for Pisces. Clarify the world for Pisces. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone, in my own right, am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that, hey, you know, a cycle is closing out here, and this is the reason why I'm single. You know, maybe you would rather be single. Just may rather be single here. I don't know. Pisces, you can tell me that, hey, you don't want to be single and maybe someone is wanting to come back around again. Pisces, you have the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, there's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending an offer, but you fear that the offer would be rejected. So Pisces... <clears throat> There may be an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing. However, you could be contemplating sending an offer. You just fear it won't be accepted. Clarify the Four of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Four of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Four of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with you, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, the King of Cups. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So, Pisces, this is you. Clarify the King of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the King of Cups for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the King of Cups for Pisces. What about Pisces? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what about Pisces. What about Pisces? <laughs> Clarify the King of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with fucking you, Pisces, the hangman. The hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Pisces, this is you, but you guys may be hanging in the balance here. Let's see. Clarify the hangman for Pisces. Clarify the hangman for Pisces. What about Pisces? What about Pisces? Clarify the hangman for Pisces. It is clarified with this. You, we did all of this to say the same thing that we said in the beginning. Four of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There is an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending a offer, but you fear that the offer would be rejected. So Pisces, listen, you know, either you want to send out this offer, maybe come back around again because you don't want to be single. You just have this fear they won't accept it. Or there's an offer coming into you and you just think that you don't want it here. Pisces, you have the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Pisces, listen, you know, you guys may work together and have some type of stability. Yes, you can tell me that you're willing to work on it or put in the work here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Pisces. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Pisces. It is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest, 
could be waiting on money. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you guys work together and you're looking at your coins here, your money, your bank account. However, you can tell me you're waiting, contemplating and debating and asking yourself whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest with this relationship and work things out. Right now you're thinking, and from what I see, you're thinking about missing the opportunity of working things out with this person. Hi, Pisces, listen, I, you know, I don't know what you guys have going on with this stability. You know, it could be a financial stability thing. It could be commitment here. But you guys have something going on here. Pisces, your partner has the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Pisces, listen, your partner could tell me that, hey, you know, they want just cause to celebrate here. Your partner could tell me that you guys um, may be reuniting here. But they can also tell me that there was a third party situation. Clarify the three of cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the three of cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the three of cups for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that your partner doesn't see coming. Something that catches them completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Pisces, some type of shocking surprise here, yes. Could be a shocking revelation. Something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower. For Pisces, partner. Clarify the tower for Pisces, partner. Clarify the tower for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the two of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So listen, Pisces. You know, your partner could tell me that there was a shocking surprise here coming into you with a surprise or are you coming into them with a surprise to solidify you guys' union and maybe having just cause to celebrate, going into some type of commitment here. However, your partner could tell me that, yes, you're their soulmate, but it's been a shocking revelation that there may have been a third party here. Your partner could also tell me that, you know, Maybe it's to their surprise or much to their surprise that they want to reunite here and they realize that you're their soulmate. And the reason why I say much to their surprise is because you're not on that same page. You're not. Pisces, listen, your partner has the Queen of Cups. This is you, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So, Pisces, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Pisces, partner. What does Pisces partner think of Pisces? What does Pisces partner think of Pisces? Clarify the Queen of Cups for Pisces partner. It is clarified with a magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Pisces could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I ask your partner, what do they think of you? They think that you're trying to make something happen here. However, they could be trying to make something happen with you. Clarify the magician for Pisces, partner. Clarify the magician for Pisces, partner. Clarify the magician for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the seven of swords. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Pisces, listen, your partner may think that you're trying to sneak off and sneak away from the situation because it seems like you don't want it. But listen, your partner themselves when it comes to you maybe trying to be deceptive and manipulative here because remember i'm trying to figure out what is this about is this mind games and manipulation here into going to the, into some type of commitment or stability here hmm it's like they want it maybe this is a surprise here but you don't are they trying to manipulate a situation? Do you guys have some type of stability between you and they feel like that is the glue that is going to hold you guys together? For instance, like we're more than just a couple. Maybe we started a business together, okay? Maybe we purchased property together. See, those are the, the ties that bind, okay? We have some type of stability between us. So, you know, is it that this person is trying to form, you know, some type of... Uh, glue between you guys do you guys work together share money shared income shared property something shared or something and now they want to take it a step further and go into some type of commitment hmm. <laughs> Pisces, you just say i just want my damn money i don't care about the other stuff pisces your partner has the three of wands aries we are a sag this is your partner waiting, waiting for their ships to come in, waiting for what they set their intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of your partner looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So Pisces, listen, you know, it could be some distance between you guys, okay? Maybe some type of travel your partner's thinking about here. Your partner could tell me that they're waiting. Maybe they're waiting on you because it's stagnant. Maybe you have to give them an answer. You're just thinking about maybe missing it here. Your partner could tell me that they're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. And that's so broad because when I say looking to expand, yes, they could be looking to expand to see what else is out there because you're dragging your feet and you don't want it. But it could also be looking to expand to make you be deeper in, in the hole with this person. Meaning, okay, I see two more properties that we can purchase together. You know what I'm saying? Another business we can open together. They're looking to expand. <laughs> Clarify the three of wands for Pisces, partner. Clarify the three of wands for Pisces, partner. Clarify the three of wands for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this devil energy speaks of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is it's restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' this relationship. This is a binding process here. Hey, listen, when we're dealing with this devil, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Pisces, partner. Clarify the devil for Pisces, partner. Clarify the devil for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. You know, this can also be about your partner's abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the empress for Pisces, partner. Clarify the empress for Pisces, partner. Clarify the empress for Pisces, partner. King of Wands. 
Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion so you could be dealing with a fire sign or your partner is wanting to take action clarify the king of wands for pisces partner clarify the king of wands for pisces partner clarify the king of wands for pisces partner nine of wands aries leo or sag this is your partner being guarded and standing their ground they have a stance they meant what they said they said what they meant they're not willing to bend concede meet halfway eye to eye or anything but this is also a card of your partner saying you know what i'm tired i'm wounded i'm down for the count but i still have a little fight in me left i'm not giving up being persistent but this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So listen, Pisces, you know, your partner could be highly suspicious here, okay? Because you left them waiting about this legal binding contract. You don't want to go into it. So naturally, when a person doesn't want to go into a commitment with someone, automatically people start thinking, oh, you have someone else. So they may be highly suspicious that you have someone else because you left them waiting here. So they're thinking it's toxic. They could also think that you're still dealing with baby mama, baby daddy, ex or your ex-spouse or what have you. Okay. However, Pisces, your partner can tell me that they're going to be persistent here, okay? They're waiting because they want to go into this legal binding contract for whatever reason it is, even if it's just stability, and I'm not saying just, but stability sake, financial sake, we have these buys that, these binds that tie, these ties that bind or whatever, however it go, we have this between us. So legal binding contract, but it could also be about commitment here, having just cause to celebrate and solidifying our relationship, our connection here. It just seems like this person is very manipulative when it comes to you or trying to manipulate a situation here. But I think you see right past it. You know what I'm saying? You're questioning whether or not you want to continue to work with this person or even work things out with this person. You may just want to close out the cycle and be single and just not accept anything that's coming in from this partner. No suggestions, no looking at property, no, 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 let's not survey a property. Let's not get an inspection for a property. Let's not sign a lease. Let's not even think about a proposal. It's almost like you, I guess you've seen enough of this person to know that you don't want to, you want to try to untie the ties that are already there, I feel. Pisces, this is your bonus reading for March 2022. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.